First at nine, Springfield wants to replace an expiring sales tax with a new one. It's a two-parter. Now, half a cent would go toward capital improvements and other projects, and a quarter of a cent would pay pensions of police officers and firefighters. Charmel Odell is live now. Now, this tax should also boost pay for emergency responders. Charmel. Rob, well, police union leaders say there's been a constant battle across the Midwest with recruiting officers and keeping them in uniform, and they want Springfield to be the new place recruits look first. This gun down. Living in Springfield for years, Melissa Soto tells me her neighborhood isn't what it used to be. I just try to protect myself and my kids. That's much, much possible I can do. In the last 10 years, Springfield police union leaders say they've seen a constant drop in officer recruitment. City Council voted unanimously Monday night to put a three quarters of a cent tax before voters in November. If approved, it would replace the three quarters cent fire and pension tax that expires next year. We're looking at other things that need to be accomplished. Um, and so w without raising taxes, this is an opportunity to to solve some of the other public safety issues that that have popped up in that time frame. Crime prevention measures are one of the police union's top concerns, and they believe the only way to fix it is getting more boots on the ground. The take home car program where you get to take your police come home, police car home and park it in your driveway. Um, and of course, that's got a benefit for the officer himself, but also the community, the neighborhoods that, that we live in. One fourth a cent of the tax funding would be used for public safety initiatives. The other half cent will be used for projects and programs recommended by the public. The city's spokesman told us we gather public input on project and program ideas and then create a proposed slate of ideas for allocation that also takes into account other considerations such as matching funds available, continuation projects, etc. We want to make sure that no matter what, that they have the money to do what they need to do so that they can keep this community safe. Now, members of the International Association of Firefighters here in Springfield weren't available to talk to me on camera today, but they do tell me the tax is vital, and if passed, they believe it will give recruitment a boost. Live in Springfield, I'm Charmelle Odell, KY3 News. Charmelle, thank